how to draw a break-even table. For this video, we're using the game Gorgeous Gatters that we have played in class. Remember, it cost a thousand pounds to make one crate of cakes and our variable costs. So that was for the butter, the sugar, etc. Four thousand pounds in fixed costs. That would be the rent, the bills, and the price we're going to be charging our customers are two thousand pounds per crate. And we're going to use that information to fill out the table below. First of all, we are going to go for the fixed costs. Now, fixed costs will, if I make none, I will still have to pay my rent. So I'm going to put £4,000 into my fixed costs. If I make no crates of cakes, I will have to pay my rent and my bills. If I use my factory to make two crates of cakes, also £34,000. And it's the same if I make use the factory to make four or six or eight or ten. They do not put my rent up just because I have made more cakes. It is exactly the same. The next line we're going to add in is our variable costs. So it costs £1,000 to make one crate. So what we need to do is multiply the amount sold by the variable costs. So if I make no crates of cakes at a thousand pounds a crate, it's going to cost me nothing. If I make two crates at one thousand pounds, it's going to cost me two thousand, and then four means four thousand, six thousand, eight thousand, ten thousand. Next, we're going to work out our total cost. We're going to do this by adding together the fixed cost and the variable cost. So in our, when we make none, our fixed cost is 4,000, our variable cost is nothing, so our total cost is 4,000 pounds. So if I made two crates, my fixed cost is 4,000, my variable cost is 2,000, and you can see the others filling in. So 4,000 plus 4,000 is 8,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the final line on our break-even table is working out our sales revenue. This is the amount of money we have earned. Now we are going to do this by taking the price, which if you remember was £2,000 per crate, and multiplying it by the amount sold. So if I make none at £2,000, obviously I'm going to earn nothing. The secondly, if I made two and sold them for £2,000, I am going to get £4,000 in sales revenue. If I make four at £2,000, that's £8,000. Then £12,000, £16,000, and finally £20,000. So we have drawn a break even table. So where does Gorgeous Gatto's break even? We're looking for the point where total cost will equal sales revenue. You can see here, total cost is 8,000, sales revenue is 8,000. So if we charge 2,000 pounds a crate, we will be able to break even if we sell four crates of cakes. So this is how to draw up a break even table.